Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Everyday Caddy for the Everyday Guy. So let's be honest, the only reason you guys came here today is to see this. But before we get to that, I have to explain what we're going to do. So we're going to be running a series of comparison tests. Now these are not versus, it's not going to be the pistol versus the Ronnie. It's going to be a comparison in terms of what it's like to use a standard pistol, a standalone pistol, shall I say, or what it's like to use a pistol inside a Ronnie. The reason we can't do a versus is quite simply, you can't have a Ronnie functioning without the pistol. So it's like saying, I'm going to compare the body of my Ferrari without the engine inside it. I'm going to be running a series of drills and tests. I'll take you through those. They can designed to show the functionality of both tools, Pistol and Ronnie. Guys, I don't often say this, but if you do like these videos and you want to support the channel, please don't forget to do that double tap, which is to subscribe and like. If you're an overachiever like myself, you can triple tap, which is subscribe, like, and share. I really do appreciate that, but it's not, that's not what it's about. So I thank you so much uh, for your support and let's get to it. So guys, the first test in the Ronnie pistol comparison is going to be from a stationary position. I'm going to stand, I'm going to shoot five shots with a pistol, obviously the stationary target. I'm going to repeat that with the Ronnie. And what we're looking for here is obviously accuracy, time it takes between shots as well. The reason I'm saying that is because I'm only going to shoot when I feel I've got a perfect picture on the A zone. Now remember guys, I'm the everyday guy, so my abilities is that of an everyday guy. I'm not spec ops, I'm not law enforcement, so... Whatever you see here, please keep that in context. I constitute or, or I'm like 90% of society who only gets to the range a few times a month. Um, and so that's how we're going to compare this. Now, I'm not going to introduce stress to this because that, again, plays on my abilities. I'm going to be calm, I'm going to be relaxed. I'm going to take five good shots as quickly and as accurately as possible with both weapon systems. And we're going to see what the result is. The pistol target is over my left shoulder and the running target's over my right shoulder. So let's have a look. So guys, that was the pistol shooting and I've got four holes here and I took five shots. The fifth shot or one of the shots actually went to the same hole right here. This is my first shot. It's all in the A zone, not too bad. And then I made an adjustment and I got a fairly decent grouping over here. In my mind, I was aiming for the A perfectly, but obviously I'm, I'm either pulling or pushing, whatever the case may be. So I'm not too disappointed with that. It's all, like I said, it's all in the A zone. This would all be kill shot in competition or whatever it is it's called. Um, five shots, four holes. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Let's see what the Ronnie does. So guys, this is the grouping with the Ronnie. I did feel like I was able to, to shoot quicker. You've got to remember with the Ronnie, I've got, I've got almost three or four points of contact. I've got my, my, my support end my trigger and my shoulder, as well as my cheek rested against the stock. So I've got more points of contact, which gives me a bit more control. I will tell you that the red dot does move quite, quite a bit. Obviously, with the pistol, I'm sure at front side does move as well. But with a red dot, you really see it move a lot. And you are also able to, to pick up your target way quicker with a red dot, because it's like looking through a window with a red dot painted on it. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, that grouping again in the A zone. These, I am shooting from 7 meters away, which is sort of the generally accepted combat efficiency distance when it comes to pistol shooting. So we're going to do a few more tests, but I would say in, in this comparison, um, I would feel way more comfortable with the Ronnie than with the pistol. Let's get to the other tests. Okay guys, so the next test is going to be a moving and shooting uh, style course. I've got four tires here marked about 3 or 4 meters apart. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at this base over here. From the first tire to the second tire, I'm going to fire three shots. And then I'm going to move laterally across, firing three more shots. At this point over here, I'm going to do a reload. Then I'm going to be moving backwards, firing three more shots. And moving across again, firing three more shots. There's no time limit here. I'm going to be wanting to fire the most accurate shots I can fire. So if I don't feel I've got good accuracy by the time I get to the base station, I will stop, reset, and fire the remaining shots of that particular run. As always, I'm going to do this with the Ronnie as well as with the pistol. So pistol first, let's have a look. So guys, I just want to add right here, it's very uneven underfoot. And quite a few times I'm having to cross my feet just to find some decent footing. Um, it's, it's not very even. Now what's really cool is James Smart from Street Smart Combatives has offered to give me some training in terms of moving and shooting and that sort of thing. So stay tuned to right at the end of the video. I'm going to show you a brief interlay of what he's going to offer and what he can do. Stay tuned right at the end. So guys, that was the pistol run. Now, before we even go further, I know 
that that was not tactical, okay? I know my feet crossed many times. I know those things are not uh, advisable. So in my defense, it's a bit dodgy underfoot here. It's very un uneven. But also, like I said, I'm an, I'm an everyday guy. That That is how I was doing that. Like literally the first time I run it. That's the first time I've run that course. So, you know, just bear with me. Take it for what it is. I will improve. So please don't troll me for how I'm moving my feet. I'm not spec ops and I don't proclaim to be that. I'm just a normal guy. With regard to the target, as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got 10 holes. I would say, what, three in the A, C, and wherever else the rest is. So I missed two shots, effectively. Now, I wasn't trying to do that super fast. I was actually trying to be accurate, but what I did want to do is move and shoot as well, as, as, as often as I could. So there you go. That's the pistol. I'd say the furthest shot that I took was about 14 meters, and the nearest shot was seven meters. Uh, maybe less than 14, say about 12 meters. And the nearest shot was seven meters. So that's what I'm able to do. I'm not saying this is great and I'm not saying you should be able to do this. And I do know that there are many guys who can do this way better than me. But this is where I am right now with my evolution of training. So let's have a look at the Ronnie and see if I can do any better. So guys, that was the Ronnie. Um, I can tell you, when you are moving, as you saw, I don't move particularly amazingly. I'm not like a cat, um, but when you are moving, that red dot does jump up and down a lot. That's definitely something you have to get used to. Although you are able to put shots, I would almost say more accurately on target. Like, I'm not too disappointed with this. I've got 11 shots on target. I know for a fact the last shot I missed, and that is because I squeezed, I, I, Took the shot as I was mid-step. Now that, that comes down to training. Um, I've got 11 shots. I've got four in the A zone. But what I do like is if I do this, right, pretty much everything here has hit the target. So I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. The differences between the Ronnie and, and the pistol, I definitely feel like you have more control with the Ronnie. You're able to get the, 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 the dot on target quicker. The flip side is that dot is very sensitive. So you've got to train with it. You've got to learn how to control the top half of your body so that you can take those shots easily. And when I say easily, I mean get, getting that, that top half control and bottom half control so that you're moving, but that dot isn't jumping up and down. But so far, I'm, I, I have to be honest, if I could choose home invasion, home invasion situation, I, I would like to have the Ronnie um, on my side simply because I feel like I'm getting shots off quicker and I just feel like I have a little bit more control. The last test is going to be a double tap. And the reason I'm doing that is, as you know, uh, with guys being drugged up and things like that. It doesn't always take a, a single shot to stop a guy. So I'm going to take three double taps with a pistol, three double taps with a Ronnie. We'll see where I hit and we'll see how fast I can get those shots off and then we'll end off. Thanks guys. Okay guys, so that was double tap, double tap, change mag, double tap. This was my last shot before changing the mags. I know I was anticipating changing that mag. That's where training comes in again, but I'm not too disappointed with this. So I've got one, two, three, four, five shots in the A zone, double tap. That everything you see today is the first time I, I run these drills. So with the Ronnie, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. I will improve with training, but, but I'm going to go ahead and say that, that that's fairly decent. I was able to pick up the sights quicker. What I find is if you're standing still, you can track that red dot really easily. It's when you're moving that you do struggle a bit. So there's definitely an advantage to having the Ronnie. The recoil control is also a bit better because I've got a lot more behind. I've got four points of contact on the, the, the weapon system. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sad at that. that. That's seven meters away. Let's see what the pistol does and um, go from there. So with the pistol, um, too bad. I've, I'm going sort of high-low. That second shot is coming a bit low, but we've got two, four... Five, so I missed one somewhere, which isn't too great. I find with the pistol, you've, you've got to have so much more technique and so much more control to get that, that accurate shots and get them off quickly. Again, as you can see, if I put myself in the middle here, um, it's pretty much all, all decent shots, but not ideal, not, not, not all A zone. Guys, that's it for my look at the Ronnie and, and the, um, the pistol, the comparison. To end off, I would say, if you were to ask me, my own personal opinion, remember everything on the channel is an opinion, I, I really like the Ronnie. I think it's a valid force multiplying tool if you get the proper training with it. 
absolutely you can definitely increase your abilities over a shorter space of time i've been shooting a pistol for quite a while i've shot the ronnie for about two weeks and as you can see the comparison is 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 not too bad if i shoot this ronnie every weekend for the next two months i expect my my ability to grow exponentially the key factor does the ronnie work as stipulated absolutely it does but the most important thing guys go out and get proper training with any weapon system with your pistol and with the ronnie and and you'll definitely multiply your ability I want to say thank you to Suleiman Samai, I want to say thank you to um, Abdullah Eli, and I want to say thank you to Michelle Janison, who is our creative director and our range officer, and um, Suleiman makes the range available to us. I really do appreciate that. I think actually they should both, all three, come in and just give us a wave. This is Michelle. Michelle coincidentally makes all the gear I wear. I really appreciate the help. And this is Suleiman. Suleiman, thank you so much. Abdullah, sorry. Abdullah. It's Abdullah or Suleiman. It's so confusing. So these are the guys who make it all possible, who make these range days possible. I really appreciate the help. I want to say thank you to the guys at KC Approach for hooking us up with it on I'll leave the details down below. If you want anything Ronnie related, those are the guys to speak to. That's it, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good week. I'll see you guys soon. Cheers. God bless. Okay, guys. So super excited. We've just put this course together for Ryan. Um, yeah, we'll see, right? Remember, he's just an everyday kind of guy, so it might be a little bit too much for him, but he'll manage. So um, we've got some tires over here. He didn't actually know this until now. He's gonna pick up those two tires. He's gonna run all the way through um, over to there. He's gonna, the other side of the little stack of tires there. He's gonna put the tires down. He's then gonna do 20 push-ups. I'm gonna check the push-ups. We're gonna make sure they're good push-ups. Once he's done his push-ups, he's gonna stand up. His firearm will be safe. He'll load the firearm and then he's gonna take, let's go over here so we can see the targets. Um, this is kind of, you know, we've, we're making and giving him an adrenaline dump or we're replicating an adrenaline dump but with the, the physical activity, getting his heart rate up, getting him, uh, getting his adrenaline pumping around his system as if he's just woken up at night and there's something gone on in the house. He's got a definite home invasion situation and he's decided to go and do something about it. He's done his push-ups, he's got to here, he's gonna load his firearm the target on the right hand side he's going to move and shoot at the same time taking four shots all being well they're going to be reasonably good shots and he's going to get something on target effectively he's buying himself time to to uh, get to the cover so that he can take better shots and deal with the other so he's going to deal with the first suspect on the right hand side there he's going to move across to his cover once he gets to his cover he's going to do a tactical reload so in his mind the fuzziness of three o'clock in the morning He's not quite sure how many shots he's taken, um, so he's gonna do a tactical reload. He's gonna do his tactical reload. Then he's gonna slice the pie so that he can take his first shots. He should not be able to see the second target when he's taking his shots on the first one. Once he's taken his shots on the second one, he's gonna slice his pie and get his shots on the, on the third target altogether.